Am I the asshole for denying an older woman shelter from a storm? I am an avid hiker in Australia. Last week I encountered a middle-aged woman, around 50 years old as I was coming off a trail. She was walking in my direction as I came out of the bush. It was strange to see her. The sun was almost down and the weather was starting to turn. Also, this was an intermediate collection of trails at best. Difficult even for me at worst and she didn't look super athletic. Point is, my weird radar was going off already. She walked up to me and stopped. Standing too close for my comfort. Gestured toward the clearing where my car was parked. And asked whether it was my car. No greeting or anything. When I looked over something made me uncomfortable there were no cars other than mine in sight. The trail I was on isn't crazy far from civilization but it's not a walk away one of those highway rest stops that's there for the trail and a few parking spots. No way she could have got there without driving. I let her know that. Yes. It was my car. To which she responded something like perfect. There's a storm coming. I can't be caught in it and I need to get home. She was very matter of fact. It seemed like she had already decided what would happen. Without waiting for my response. She started striding for my car. I am glad I always lock my doors because she would have hopped right in the passenger seat had the door opened. As she was walking over to it. I went after her trying to explain that I wasn't sure it was a good idea for her to hitch a ride. Asking why she was out here in the first place. I was talking to a brick wall until she realized the car was locked. At which point she turned around with this look of anger and frustration on her face. She starts ranting the same stuff as before I need to get home a storm is coming I cannot be caught in it why don't you get it. I was very confused at this point. And a little scared. As this woman was now a barrier between me and my vehicle. I told her something like I'm sorry but I don't feel comfortable with having a stranger in my car. She stared me down for a few seconds. I guess trying to gauge her chances at asking again. And just like that. The anger drops from her face and she's silent. I was really uncomfortable. I asked if I could call someone. If there was another way to help. She starts walking towards me scary. But then right past me. I'm still asking her questions. Then just saying things like hello and excuse me. No response. She walked to the other end of the rest stop and maintained eye contact with me as she sat down on. A log. Then just stared at nothing. I didn't follow her. I got into my car really shaken up and drove away. As soon as I was back in cell range I called fire and rescue. They said they would send someone out. I was scared for my safety in the moment. But she was just some woman alone in the middle of nowhere. Am I the asshole for refusing this strange woman a ride shelter in my car? Not the asshole. The gift of fear is a real thing. Not the asshole. I think calling fire and rescue was a kind thing to do. Not the asshole you called for assistance for her as soon as you were able. Good. Was there a storm coming? It would be an indicator if the woman was more or less stable. Mentally. I can tell her attitude rattled you. You don't owe some random demanding woman a ride. Ever. But. Was a storm coming? That was weird. Why didn't she just ask properly? Not the asshole. I wouldn't have taken her either. And it's not like you left her there to die. You called the authorities so that they could go and take her home. Not the asshole, of course. In my country, women are sometimes the bait for traps like this someone could have been hiding and waiting for. You to open your car so they can steal it. Also you called services to pick her up. 
I think you went above and beyond. Not the asshole. You did the right thing what a scary situation. And calling fire and rescue was a much better option than having this woman in your car. I felt as if I were reading the beginning of a horror story for a minute there. Not the asshole at all. It's great that you called fire and rescue. Stay safe out there. Not the asshole. You don't just walk up to a stranger's car and try to get in. Very worrying behavior. Sure. She might have been innocent and normal. But given how she acted. She also might not have been sounds like you made a reasonable judgment based on those odds. And beyond that. You called for help for her afterwards. Good on you. Not the asshole. Not the asshole could have been a lot of things. On drugs. Mentally unstable. Planning something evil. Dementia. Knows. Not the asshole. It's better to be safe than sorry in those situations. She could have been genuinely in need but I wouldn't have let her in my car with that kind of behavior. Not the asshole op. Getting a stranger inside your car in the middle of nowhere doesn't sound like a smart idea. Had I been in your position I would have done the same op. In tar. Honestly I'd be worried she was a bait person for trafficking or that she was trying to steal your car. Info did she offer you a rose in exchange for shelter? Did you turn into a beast when you said no? Stranger. Danger. Don't be a statistic. Move along. You did what you could. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. This is giving strange X-Files vibes. How did this woman get in the middle of nowhere? Did someone drive her there and leave her? Is she an alien? WTF this has serial killer vibes written all over it. Not the asshole. Not the asshole you aren't required to help anyone do anything. Also that situation sounds super sketchy. I also would have refused. It's good you called someone though afterwards. Not the asshole. You called the fire and rescue. She sounded scary I feel shivers just listening to this. Not the asshole. Your safety is always first it's all well and good to help people. But if they're exhibiting erratic behavior like that, you have every right to act accordingly. Calling someone to check on her was the best course of action. Not the asshole. Best case scenario she got woefully lost. Was anxious. And saw you as a lifesaver. She was too upset to realize how she was presenting to others and came across as a weirdo. Worst case scenario she is a crazy weirdo or part of a group of people with bad intentions. Asking if you could call for help while not letting her in your car was the right move. Not the asshole. I occasionally pick up hitchhikers or people with broken down cars because I live in a mountainous area where there are long stretches of road with no cell reception. But I gauge situations carefully. This sends up so many red flags. I absolutely wouldn't let that woman in my car. And you were kind enough to call help for her. In case it really was an emergency. You did the right thing here. Not the asshole you acted wisely. And held your ground even though you were unnerved. You even took the extra step to make sure emergency services could help her. Well done. Op. Was she even alive? Not the asshole. Not the asshole this had to either be a ghost or you were gonna get a mini documentary on Dateline. Not the asshole if you had driven off without calling fire rescue you would have been. But you did what you could to keep both of you safe. Not the asshole. The whole thing sounds super weird. A hiker doesn't just find themselves in the middle of the outback without their own transport. My first thought would have been, where is her vehicle? 